Well then, ladies and gentlemen, after the video last week, I openly said I'm going to be positive about the Coventry game. I think we're going to have a bit of a redemption. Yes, we obviously did in the cup match in the midweek prior. Getting absolutely battered 3-0 was not what I expected. And <laughs> quite frankly, I am not a happy man at the moment. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the match reaction series, our second league game. And the second league game where we failed to score a goal or win. To put it bluntly, I am just very, very frustrated. It was an awful game to watch. It did remind me a lot of what happened the week before at Millwall, where we had the chances, did absolutely nothing with them, and just took nothing from the game. Yeah, in this video, we're going to look at what went wrong, in this case, a lot. Where we go from here, as always, we've got a little bit of transfer news. Some players have come in today. Some other bits of news here and there that we're going to talk about as well. Before I go through this shambolic game, make sure you like and subscribe to help me get through it. It'd be greatly appreciated. It'd be lovely to have you on board. And now, regrettably, we've got to get into the game. First things first, just as we did in the previous two episodes, we're going to take a look at the starting eleven that started this game. I think it's important and we have to do it. So here it is. As you can see, we have Dieng in goal. Coulson, Lenahan, Fry and McNair in defence. Alassa and Hackney playing in the middle. And up front, it was Silvera, Rogers, Jones and having Crooks as the lone striker. Looks like he's trying to do with Rogers what he did with Akpom last season and put him in the number 10 role to see if he can flourish. Personally, I don't think having Crooks as your striker is really going to work. My dad describes him as a bit of a cart horse. Think of that what you will. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But the overall feeling of the team, in my opinion, is there's something that's not gelling. There's something that's not working. It doesn't really seem to be connecting together in any way. I just don't see anything special with this group. I hate to see it because I love the club. Do you know when you get that feeling where you just don't see anything special in this group of players? I'm afraid that that's the feeling I'm getting at the moment. And I do feel that some changes are needed. And as I said... We brought in some players and we'll go through them in a bit. At this moment in time, as they would say over on Arsenal Fan TV, it's not looking good, bruv. This was, of course, Coventry's first game without Gustavo Harmer, who obviously signed for Sheffield United just prior to the game. Man who put them into the playoff final at our expense last season, of course. But they got their first win of the season with goals in both halves. With an own goal from Darrell Lenahan at the end, capping off, a, there's no other way to describe it, a miserable horrible afternoon for us. I had a stat earlier that said it's the first time since 2007 that we've lost our two opening league games. Oh, that's not good, is it? It's not good. Our keeper, Senny Dieng, made some good saves here and there to keep up the likes of Ellis Sims. I think in the second half, we definitely did improve. As I said in the introduction bit, we had our chances. We just did nothing with them. We just didn't take them. And that is becoming the story of our season, even if we're two games in. I mean, Morgan Rogers had a good run winding in and out of the defence, but he couldn't get the shot away. Isaiah Jones hit the side netting as well. Thank God knows how Sammy Silvera missed this. I don't know. I, I don't know how he missed. I don't know how he missed. My girlfriend in her Crocs would be scoring that. Another thing coming out of it as well, Chubrak Pom missing as well at the time of the game there was some fitness and transfer speculation but now obviously we know that he's agreed the deal with Ajax and it looks like it'll be off something needs to change we need to get some more players in which we've got two in today it's it's a question of what does actually need to change is it the team will the new signings be any good could we be in trouble potentially even though we're two games in a lot of questions being asked maybe I shouldn't be panicking because we're two games in but there'll be a lot of people I know we'll be completely backing me saying, yes, I should be panicking and I'm rightful to be. On the bright side, let's move on to some positive news. We've made two signings today. We've signed striker Emmanuel Latte Laff. Also got a new left back in a day in Lucas Engel. Engel, I can't quite know how to pronounce his name. I'll find out. But the two positions that we've been most asking for people in, it looks like we've got filled. Will we have any other additions? Maybe we do need a few others, but there's been a lot of praise for these two signings. But then again, I don't know what's going to happen. Am I a bit nervous? Yes. We'll see what happens. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. The game against Huddersfield this Saturday is going to be huge because I think if we lose that, there'll be a lot of people turning on Borough. An outcry if we lose on Saturday. And I know we've got Neil Warnock coming up against us as well. He'll want to get a good three points against us. I don't know. I don't know how I feel at this moment in time. I'm very frustrated. I'm very confused. We need to win this Saturday. It's as simple as that. We need to win to get back on track. Beat Huddersfield in the cup already. 
We need to do it in the league this time. Because if we don't, then serious, serious worries will be raised from everyone, basically. Yeah, we'll see what happens Saturday. I'll be back here with the match reaction video, as usual, to take you through it. Hopefully, I'm taking you through a win, because God help me if I'm taking you through another loss. So hopefully, we'll be back with a match reaction, celebrating a win. For now, that's the latest, that's the reaction to the Coventry game, so I'm going to leave you all to it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not happy, hopefully I will be on Saturday, but I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch. As I said before, leave a like and comment and subscribe down below, it'd be greatly appreciated. Catch you all in the next video. Have a great evening, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.